But I'm here to tell you the truth and the hacks to help you break free from the matrix so you can be a brokey like me. True happiness comes from a goldfish, from the same woman a couple of nights a month, and the occasional meme coin. Fatty for life. <laughs> It's been a crazy month for the YouTube community. First, we had Master Ugwe, who got cancelled from the face of the planet after making that song about his uh, mustache BFF. Adolf Hitler is my nick then we had Doctor to suspect allegations, crazy allegations coming forward about him tickling kids. And then two days later, he self snitched. Yes, I did it. Yes, it was me. It's so good to get this off my chest. I'm sorry I did it, but I am not like EDP. I am a different type. I only send texts. I don't actually meet up with them. It's two different things. What others are doing is absolutely disgusting, but what I'm doing is not that disgusting. It's nothing illegal. No wrongdoing was done. And now, third one, we have uh, Boogie2899. Now, I'm not really familiar with Boogie2899. I need to stop saying 2899. I'm not really familiar with Boogie's uh, content. I only came across a couple of his clips on Twitter, one being the Twitch ban after the whole artistic nudity drama. And then the second clip as well. Brace yourselves. That's the N -word. Word. Oh. Word. No one really cared about these clips because apparently his downfall was like eight years ago. He's been doing YouTube for more than a decade and people just gave up on him and his content but even though he hit rock bottom a very long time ago what he did a couple of days ago he took a fucking drill he went to that rock bottom place and he started drilling down and he just discovered a new place after rock bottom it is called the boogie 2899 in desperate times, people do desperate things. He made a deal with the devil, the devil uh, meaning the crypto people who paid him to promote a very huge crypto scam to his own community. Because to this day, there are still thousands of people supporting him for whatever the reason. They've stuck by him through hell, through the storm, through everything. And what did Boogie gave them in return? He was like, open your mouth. O open your mouth. I am going to shit in your mouth with shit coin. This is what he posted on Twitter. Video is live. Website is live. Website being the coin that he launched. To give you a little bit of context about what exactly it was, it was a crypto coin called Fatty. A couple of crypto people, they came up to him. They offered them $10,000 and told them to promote this coin to your community. And this happens pretty often. Some people accept it, some people don't. In his desperate times, he accepted that $10,000 and he went full in with the whole promotion. Fatty coined the official meme community of Boogie2889867, a place for fatties all over the world. No top Gs allowed. So the whole point of this Fatty coin, it was supposed to be a meme coin. It was supposed to be a joke. He straight up told his audience, are you bored? Do you want to laugh at people like Andrew Tate and all these top G alpha people? Give me your money, put it in this coin, and we will be having a good laugh about this whole situation on how stupid, stupid they are. And for some reason, people actually fell for it because the volume of the coin got to $3 million. I don't know how this whole crypto works, to be honest. CoffeeZilla covered it. Mudahar covered it as well. They did a whole 30-minute video going in depth of exactly what happened. Definitely go check out this video. I'm just making a brief video about this and sharing my thoughts. More messages like, if you want to come and talk to me about the crypto thing, hop on Telegram now and we will be having a live stand-up comedy show on Tex. And he kept on promoting it saying, 1.1 million dollar market cap oh my god Andrew Tate is so stupid bring bring me your money guys B bring uh, put more money in this and surprise surprise the whole thing was a scam it just went up and just crashed down and what was his excuse after he scammed his whole community he got into a phone call with CoffeeZilla and this is what he said hey I'm a pump and dump what do you have to say for yourself I don't think it's a pump and dump it is a meme coin it's literally it from is. a thing called pump dot fun what are you talking about you're telling me he really thinks a meme coin is you buy the coin you look at it you point at it and you laugh at it i never knew who pump dot fun was until today well that's I what you tweeted they came referred to me by afro man's manager right but and you said before you posted the pump and dump you said we're gonna crush the internet pump dot fun you didn't realize at that point you're doing a pump and dump that you're getting paid by insiders to do this? Not really, because again, if you watch the video that I launched this with, the entire video, the entire bit, the entire joke is I lost all of my money in crypto. Here's my shit coin. If you want to be broke too, buy my shit coin. That's what I say in my tweets. What's the joke exactly? You know people are going to invest. That's why you're getting paid. You know that. 
people would buy one coin to come onto the, the server and hang out and fuck around. That's what I thought. That's my understanding. And that was the point. You know, when we they were pitching this to me, they're like, don't be like Logan Paul. Don't be these other people. We want you active in the community. We want you to talk. We want you to be there. This is your community. Be part of it. I mean, I got to give it to him. He's actually a genius if you think about it. No one wants to watch his videos. His downfall was like years and years ago. So he thought of something outside the box to revive his community. People don't watch my videos because they don't like my personality and nothing about me anymore. But what if they pay to talk to me directly in a Telegram group? It's it's a it's a genius. Even Albert Einstein has never would have never thought of this. This is not like hey pay pay a buck and you get access to my community. People think that they're going to make money. That is why there's three million dollars of trading volume on this little shit coin that you just promoted. Well, I told them they won't make money. I literally told you you'll go broke buying this coin. One hundred percent. He smelled that something was fishy about this whole thing, but he decided to do it anyways because. People do desperate things at desperate times. And him saying these things in a sarcastic way, thinking that this can be his shield in case things go south. But that's just not the case. That video of him as well with the sunglasses, the cigar pretending to be down G was actually posted on his YouTube channel. But ever since it has been removed after all the backlash, all the tweets that he made, everything's been deleted. He's buried everything about the situation. And usually companies are not okay with it. But since they, the whole purpose of the company who reached out to him to scam his community, the whole point was scamming. So they just dipped. They took the money and they were like, peace. Here's your $10,000. Bye. And unfortunately, these things happen a lot where these crypto people, they come to these uh, upcoming content creators who are going viral at the time. And they ask for the coins to be promoted and they offer you amount of money where you can decline even though you don't understand anything from the crypto side you just see money you see a ad you need to do all these influencers doing ads that's how you get paid that's how you make your money let's do it and one of those people was me actually back in 2021 now before you go kush you kush you scam out come down let me explain back in 2021 in my prime time on tiktok for those of you who are new here, I have 4.8 million followers on TikTok. I used to post a lot of memes. On 2021, it was my prime time. I was going up millions and millions, hundreds of millions of views per month. And that is the time when companies started to come up to me, offering me like $500 for an ad like that, $1,000 for this. And keep in mind, I'm in the Middle East. There is no creator fund over here. The only way you would make money from TikTok is when you do ads. And there were two coins who came up to me in 2021, one in May and one in July, I believe, of 2021. One first one was a shitcoin crypto. The other one was a Shiboki crypto. They each offered me $2,000 and I was like, damn, okay, well, let me do quickly do a checkup on this because back then there was the scamming crypto wasn't that popular. But I still wanted to make sure because every crypto in my eyes is fishy, even back in 2021. So I went to one of my good friends who's been doing crypto and he has made millions for crypto. He knows people in crypto. He understands the whole situation and he's been I've been friends with him for like eight to nine years. I talked to him. They said this is legit. Go for it. I accepted the money. I posted those videos, but it was no ordinary video like, hey, this is a shit coin, Bitcoin. You want to be a billionaire? I did not even use my voice in my TikTok videos back in 2021. This was literally me promoting the uh, uh, coin. I've done dozens and dozens of ads on TikTok and most of them were like this because this whole thing was a trend back then and that's what would get you views. Now, this is something very sacred from my past. If you shared, if you screen record this, if you download this, if I even sense your screen recording, I will look for you. I will find you and I will spank you. I got $1,500 from this Samsung ad. Fuck you. But luckily, one thing that I hated about TikTok back in the day, which now I'm very thankful for it, is when you post an ad, but you do it with a company directly, and you don't give a cut to TikTok, and you don't involve them in this whole agreement, 
they will not like you. They will suppress the video and they will not push the video. So let's say I get 3 million views on each video. That's how it was back in the day. If I post an ad promoting something, they're not going to let it go viral. They are going to kill it at 10, 20,000 views. That's how it was. And it was really frustrating because companies don't see results. So they don't want to work with you again. Some come back for it. And the majority won because those coins that I promoted, they didn't get more than 20,000 views. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know how the coin did. Was it a scam in the first place? I just took my friend's word for it. Just went with it. And thankfully, in 2021, my community on TikTok, it wasn't really a community. On TikTok, I believe only 2% of creators that have a community. Because if someone watches your videos for 10 seconds, they don't care about you. They just care about the content. But on YouTube, I believe 80% of the creators, they actually have a community. Because if someone dedicates 8 to 10 minutes of their lives to watch your videos on a daily basis, they like you. So maybe one or two or a couple of people that actually went through with it. If you went through with me doing TikTok dances and pointing and saying, buy, buy this now with the text, it's on you. It's your fault to be stupid. But God knows, maybe the whole thing was actually legit and they're actually millionaires now and just laughing down on us. I don't know. But going forward, I will never ever in my life, even if they pay me a huge chunk of money, I will never work with a crypto coin ever again with the repetition it has now everything is a scam and if you're disgusted by me and you don't like me anymore and you want to unsubscribe and block me from every social media platform i completely understand but remember there was no wrongdoing nothing illegal happened and i was paid in full <laughs> but yeah the whole buggy situation is pretty sad he shouldn't honestly act dumb play dumb oh i didn't know it was all for laughs but I launched the coin. I was making fun of them, but I launched the coin and people actually, I told them, if you want to be broke, only go for it. And people, I guess, wanted to be broke. Ha ha ha. Like if it was all for labs, why would you put the link to the coin for people to go buy it, invest in it? You know what I mean? Honestly, he, he hit so low on his like career. I would give up at that point and just go find another thing because there's no recovering from this. If there was 1% chance, he killed it with this move. Anyways, just wanted to share my thoughts and talk about the situation. Take care of yourself. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I hate doing this, but I guess I have to because if I don't say it, 80% of the people will not automatically do it. Maybe if I keep telling you, you will get used to it. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends if you want or any videos you watch if you want to share. And subscribe if you're new here or you keep watching my videos and you don't subscribe. My friend, subscribe! Why, why are you watching and not subscribing the whole time?